Peter Chang here. Today we have a real treat. We have our hands on a Venom Pro Charger Plus. It's a RC battery charger and the Venom chargers actually ship in many different versions. Uh, what's neat about the Pro Charger Plus version is that it includes all of the accessories that you might be needing when you're charging your RC batteries. And check it out. It's uh, Check out the back here. It's got like all these awesome accessories and the reason I'm showing you this box is because usually when you walk in like your local hobby shop uh, the box is actually underneath the glass case and you never really get a chance to see what it looks like until you're ready to get it. So let's crack it open. First thing you're going to notice is that it, the box is just packed with wires, cables, and accessories. So that is totally awesome. This is the uh, Tamiya plug. Let's go ahead and get the Tamiya plug in better focus here. And you notice that the uh, Tamiya plug is different from the other plug-ins. It's, it's uh, actually going straight to the uh, banana clip plugs in there. Here we have the uh, universal adapter, the plug adapter that all the other plugins would go to. Traxxas also gets its own banana plug charger. And check this out. Uh, these are all kind of like bundled together. So let me sort this here. This one's the mini, uh, or a, you can think of it as a JST plug. We have the uh, Dean's adapter right here. This is the uh, Futabu plug or Futaba plug. And all these go into the universal adapter. Or the plug adapter. What's interesting is is that uh, this charge could also be connected to the computer and it does include the uh, USB plugins as well. Here we have the EC3 plug. And once again this connects straight to the banana adapter. Very cool that they've included that. Here we have our balance block. And the balance block is really great if you want to do any kind of balance type charging. And that's the charge I usually tend to do. This particular balance block goes up to eight cells. So here is the eight cell side at the very end of it. And what's nice is that it it's, uh, provides a variety of batteries and types of batteries that you could possibly plug in here. Now if you're using any uh, Thunder Power batteries you need to get a uh, Thunder Power version of this uh, balance block. So so just so you know it's uh, any kind of Thunder Power batteries you once again you just need a a, a different block to go in with that. But so far all my batteries are this type of connector so so far so good. Here we have the AC adapter here, and this goes into the power supply. Check out how big this power supply is. This reminds me of the, this is very reminiscent of the, some of the uh, Dell uh, laptops I, I've been using in the past. And check it out. It's a Venom, Venom Power branded laptop type battery supply, so you won't get those me messed up. And also has a different uh, plug-in adapter as well, too. The moment of truth here. Let's go ahead and pull out the software here. And what's interesting is that uh, the software actually ships on a mini uh, CD here. Here's our instruction booklet. Uh, it's also very well documented. Uh, all the steps are in there. Uh, sometimes it can be a little confusing, but just read through the document or ask for help. So here's our charger. And one thing you notice is that the uh, leads uh, for positive and negative are also fixed in there. Uh, once again, it's just the, uh, the wall current only goes up to a certain amperage. So if you needed to charge uh, a larger battery, you could plug it into a larger power supply. Uh, on this side, we see the uh, banana ports. Here's the heatsink fans. Uh, there's also a fan included in, in there as well. Let's go ahead and tilt it towards this opposite side. Uh, here we have the area where you would plug in the uh, power. Um, right, right below the, uh, the leads are 
uh, the temperature probe and the USB ports and the uh, on and off switch right there. Very nicely laid out uh, power supply. It's very well thought out as well. And the balancer block just goes in the side right by the uh, banana plugs there. Overall, this unit feels very solidly built. Um, I love the color. It's very bright red. Uh, we also have a backlit LCD in here. And we'll go through the next video and we'll, we'll show you some charging. Overall, this is an awesome power supply. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, everything matters.